into. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is an exciting video. Me and my mum are going to a lash event in Manchester called Lashtopia. So basically it's just like an exhibition for all lash artists and businesses. There's like various masterclasses out on throughout the day. I feel like I'm going to meet a few celebrities and it's just like well-known lash artists in the industry but really looking forward to it hopefully learn some really good new things my mum's coming along with me which is really really cute i don't know how confident she's going to be on the vlog she's a bit nervous about it she's been panicking about what to wear <laughs> how cute but yeah she's coming with me we're about to leave now it's about quarter to nine in the morning it's going to take about 45 minutes to get there hoping parking's going to be all right yeah it's on till about five and then home time so yeah i'm looking forward to bring you all with me hopefully i can I'm not sure how much of the mass classes and stuff I can film, but I will bring you along as much as possible. I think that I'm going to hide in somewhere by a gate and star. Baby, they ain't never gonna find me. I'm a renegade. Oh. I could be the one who saved you from the place. We could be as one and the escape. So there's this is the like itinerary of the day. There's loads of like classes on throughout the day, so we could choose five. So we started off with the, working with the VIPs and influencers. So we did that with Mr. Lash, that was good. Then what did we do then? We did the beginner's crash course for my mum, because obviously she's just starting out, she's not really sure. And just to give a bit of background information, and it was good to learn, the good questions raised. Then we did the social media marketing with Claire. So that was really good, a busy class. We learned just how important social media is and about scheduling your posts, how often you need to do it, what you need to do as well, like reels, how important they are. We then did the working with a business partner. So this is something that is gonna be coming soon and I will be saying more about it on my YouTube. But we will be going into the money and pricing psychology and that will be our final course of the day. So yeah, it's been really good, educational. We've got loads of little goodie bags. I'll show them with you all later. We've got the Lash House, Fat Lash and London Lash. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off and apologize for this vlog, the last Toby vlog because it has been a bit disjointed. I wasn't able to film as much as I'd like to when I was there. My mum was with me and she didn't really want to go on camera. I've got a little bit, but not much. Um, so I've come home now and I've got loads and loads of products to go through. I'm gonna discuss what I've learned at the event. Just give a few tips and tricks, things that I've learned. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's helpful and you still like this video. Okay, so one of the first talks we went to was with Mr. Lash. He's a well-known lash artist. He's done so, so well. He's now offering training courses and products himself. So his talk was about working with VIPs and influencers. Now, this isn't something that I have ever done myself, but was really looking forward to learn more about. So one thing I took from it is that I wouldn't say it's really worth it. Obviously, you can work with influencers and VIPs and it can be successful, but it is very hard these days because one thing he mentioned was is that they don't create the content for you or they won't take the pictures or they won't post it on the story you're constantly trying to remind them as opposed to like them posting it themselves so yeah that can be a bit of a nightmare and obviously he said you do have to go out your way for them like you might have to drive a few hours away and then go to their own house and then drive back and that could be a good proportion out of your day gone for not a lot in return obviously they, they will bring you a lot of business but it's also super important to make sure that they are localised in your area because otherwise there's no point getting someone from the other end of the country if you're based in one particular area. So I think that that was useful to show that actually I don't think I'm going to go down that route. I've never done it so far and it's been, I've managed to go in other ways if I'm honest. So yeah, that was the first talk. So another talk we went to was with the Lash House. So this is the little bag we got. So this is run by a lash tech called Claire. She's already well established. I think she's got about 60,000 followers. She's absolutely smashing it. She used to be a lash tech and now she's focusing more on the product side of it and training and things like that. So this is a little goodie bag we got. We got these little handcuffs, which are interesting. I don't know what to do with lashes they are, but 
Yeah, me and my mum got a backpack, a little um, bag with these in. Nice. We've got these little lashes. So these are the handmade lashes, which is actually something I don't do. I use pre-made only. I swear by them and I do think that they are upcoming in the lash industry and the way forward. But yeah, I've got loads of these little samples. And then we've got a little sample of her butterfly glue, which I've never tried yet. So her talk was all about social media and the importance of it. And I would like to go in it in a more in more detail into this in a separate video but it was just basically reiterating the importance of social media and like what it can do to your business the things you need to do certain apps you can do to help so yeah really useful that was in the afternoon i think yeah really good it was nice to meet claire as well and we had a a good few conversations with the lash artist there like mr lash claire and then nathan lash it was really nice to meet them and great networking event so yeah, that was the second talk. So the final talk we went to was about money and pricing psychology. So this was held by the owner of the Lash Oasis, Andrew. So it was super useful because he was talking about the fact you don't wanna price yourself too low because by the time you work out when you're paying your taxes and costs and everything else, and especially with the inflation of it's five, 6% every year, if you don't raise your prices and charge yourself high enough, you're basically, working for minimum wage or below. So this is something I've always, always focused on and I've never ever undercharged myself. Obviously to begin with, I've started off with like a cheaper pricing and introductory offer, but I've always, always raised them. Um, I use premium products always. I don't do it cheap. I use the best products that are tried and, tried and tested to ensure my clients are getting the best lashes and service that they can get. So it was really good to hear from him because he, also explain different ways of your advertising, how you market it to people, because there are people out there who are charging like £20 a full set, but it doesn't mean it's better or worse. It's just, you just need to look at the products you're using, the service you're offering, add as much value as possible and yeah, charge right. So it was really good to listen, listen to and they would definitely learn a few more things that I've not heard before. So that was the final talk. So one of the talks which I mentioned in the programme, I can't talk about because it is something that is upcoming, but all I'm gonna say, and now this is a little hint, is if you are someone who is interested in the lash industry and would like to learn and know more, then this is for you. So if you could like and subscribe to this channel, this is where it will be being released. I'll be telling everyone what's going on, what I'm working on and where you can find out more. So yeah, can't talk about that one yet. So these classes were booked throughout the day and during like the breaks in between we had a chance to network with people, go around all the different stores in the hall, meet all these different brands. We've got like London Lash, Fat Lash, Lash House, Mr Lash, um, Amy Elizabeth. So one of the highlights of the day really was that I had a chat with Fat Lash and they recognised me. <laughs> I've never ever had that before. I don't mean to sound like oh they recognise me like I'm, a, I'm super famous because I'm not. <laughs> they just recognised me from TikTok and it was like, oh, like, because sometimes you forget that people actually see your content. I know that sounds completely stupid because I'm sat here recording myself, but like, you forget that like people are actually watching. Like so many times my clients will come in and they'll mention something that like I've maybe discussed on camera and I'm like, oh, you actually know about that? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, I watched your video and I'm like, ah, that makes total sense. So, this bag I got from Fat Lash is super cute. I've got so many nice little goodies. I've got this little coffee cup and mum's like, please can I have your cup. <laughs> she really wants it. So I've got that. They gave me some pro-made fans. So I currently use pre-made, which is exactly the same. They're just different in the tray. So I'm gonna try these out. Um, th these are, yeah, 12 millimeter 5D.7. So I'm gonna try these. They gave me some glow to use, some new glue, not tried that yet. Some cleanser, always need more cleanser, love it, love it, love it. Some, oh this was from the Lash House, some colour lashes. This isn't from Fat Lash, these are from Fat Lash. So these are, what are these? Some handmade Fat Lash lashes. Again, I didn't use these ones, I do use the Pro Maze. But yeah, got loads of these left over. Oh, this is cute little scrunchy i love wearing them in the day when i do lashes super handy to always have in the lash room then got a little little lollipop fat lash lollipop another 
another thing to show you is I got me and my mum, there's like a little photo booth there and me and my mum got this little, <laughs> little, um, can you see there, this, these little photos taken, we've got all sorts of props, no, it was a really nice day with my mum, I'm really glad she came, she also got a bit of an insight into the industry because she is going to be helping me with some stuff which hopefully I will be able to discuss soon also. Yeah, that was my day at Last Hope, yeah. It was such a good day, super worth it investing. I think the ticket was about £99. Hopefully they do it again next year. In two weeks time, I actually am going to Lash Fest in London. So that is on the 15th of May, Sunday the 15th of May. So that ticket is slightly higher. I think it's about £250. However, it is worth it because when you look at the schedule and see who is who is going some big speakers like people from lash base and things like that so yeah i will leave my codes in the description below for you to purchase your ticket from lash fest it's a great way to market and network with other lash techs get to know people introduce yourself so yeah i would love to meet you all there i'm not hosting the event but i'll put my code below and love to see you there hopefully so if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe i know it's been a bit all over the place so i'm really really sorry about that but yeah hopefully you enjoyed it and i will see you all next week with another video